Open source plans for the grow room. Welcome to the jam-packed 75th episode of Good News Next Week. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonica.com with another look at some of the ways that we are winning and solution stories. We've got that grow room good news coming up, plus some telecoms stop selling your location data. But first, hospitals must now post medical prices. Interesting. This kicks in January 1st. The bell has already tolled, as we mentioned last week on the public domain. As of Jan 1, 2019, hospitals are required to post the cost of medical procedures online, providing patients with more transparency for the treatments they're getting. Here's the problem. The prices hospitals post won't include the cost of having a doctor look at you, and because insurance often covers some of the costs, it's unlikely that the price you see will be the price you pay. So interestingly enough, the first story that we had in our show notes, and again, everything we say and play always included in your show notes, hospitals must now post medical prices, was from, I think, a, a university press in a small town, the Daily Evergreen, I think it's called. They seemed pretty positive about it. The other stories I have attached for you, Disney News, you know, ABC, they say, that, you know, they, they start to have some, have some questions about all of this. And the headline from Kaiser Health News, hospitals now have to list prices for medical procedures, but experts question the usefulness for consumers. I'm trying to think of what the analogy of, you know, Kaiser talking about your health as though they're the news and not in the health insurance racket. Maybe like a report on the like tastiness quotient of meat from Bovine University. Meanwhile, other good health news headlines for you in this first segment. Magic mushrooms to be part of new medical trials in Australia, while Russian and Czech scientists make biodegradable nanofiber bandage for fast healing. Now, I should always mention on these episodes, there's a lot of caveats, there's a lot of fine print, there's not unmitigated good news. But we're doing our best here. And as we often note, the best defense is a good offense. Exercise-induced hormone may provide some protection against Alzheimer's. Yet another piece of study that says, hey, you know, exercise might be good for you. Meanwhile, research team documents potential new treatment path for breast cancer and weed killer roundup, speaking of cancer, banned in France after a court ruling. And what would a good news next week episode be without an appearance from New Hexaco? We moved down here, of course, last year. Lots of strange things and lots of strange things to learn about. Apparently they are having coyote killing contests here. Land commissioner, however, just banned killing contests on New Hexaco state property. That sounds like a metal band or album. Make a note of that one. Prohibition impacts coyote killing contests on 9 million acres of state land. They say, of course, you're always allowed to, you have the right to defend your property. Hey, and what's better than not killing coyotes? Cats. Catopia Cat Cafe opens in Albuquerque, hopes to inspire animal adoptions. And much like the cuddler, which I think I saw a recent headline of, a lot of these things kind of pioneered up in peak Portland. Our second segment and cover story here on this big old 75th episode of Good News Next Week, IKEA just released free plans for a sustainable garden that can feed a neighborhood. This brought to us by our buddy Crimson Mist, one of the many awesome Media Monarchy members who give us some news. IKEA follows up on their mushroom-based packaging, which I didn't know about, that decomposes in weeks, by releasing open source plans for The Grow Room. Uh, also, would probably be a good band name. Di different kind of band from the, uh, 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 what was it, Killing Contest. <laughs> They've played different shows. <laughs> Ikea follows up on their mushroom-based packaging that decomposes in weeks by releasing open source plans for The Grow Room, a large, multi-tiered, spherical garden designed to grow enough food to feed a neighborhood. The plans were made free for all. The tools required, however, to create the spherical garden include plywood, rubber hammers, metal screws, and diligence. 
to follow the instructions comprised of 17 steps. The grow room, although it's an IKEA thing, isn't shipped out in a flat pack like most IKEA things. Instead, users are required to download the files needed to cut plywood pieces to size and are encouraged to visit their local workshop where wood can be professionally cut. The free instructions online walk the builder through all the remaining steps. We will include, of course, in the show notes, complete instructions for the grow room posted to medium.com and in other related space age bachelor pad news, 3D printing 100 times faster with light. And finally, on this Good News Next Week episode, a little bit of tech for you. AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint to stop selling location data to third parties after a motherboard investigation last week. As briefly reported about on your Morning Monarchy, you will always be ahead if you listen to your Morning Monarchy, motherboard revealed that AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint had been selling their customers real-time location data that ultimately ended up in the hands of bounty hunters and people unauthorized to handle it. Mother Motherboard found this by purchasing the capability to geolocate a phone for 300 bucks on the black market. In response, AT&T and T-Mobile said they were stopping all sales of location data to third parties. Nearly a week later, Sprint committed to doing the same in a statement to Motherboard. As a result of recent events, we have decided to end our arrangements with data aggregators. A Sprint spokesperson told Motherboard in an email they didn't provide a timeline of any of this data when they might stop. But T-Mobile and AT&T, already obviously ahead, have previously said their processes will be complete in March. In other good government is the gang news, judge dismisses case against Nevada rancher Cliven Bundy and his sons. And we, of course, head back to Oregon. Oregon unconstitutionally fined that guy 500 bucks for saying, I'm an engineer. A federal judge has ruled. We talked about that on a New World Next Week episode. The slow, grindy, rusty wheels of justice now, years later, essentially say that's unconstitutional. I don't know if the guy's gotten his 500 bucks back. Finally, speaking of money, get thee a backup payment gateway. A fantastic article reminding you about some of the ways that we can support each other. Speaking of gateways, we have been making Media Monarchy for nearly 14 years snake oil free. And like Corporate Report says, I don't care how you support us as long as you support us. And I have two new ways. Good news. Subscribestar, which we first mentioned for you a couple of months back. They hit a snag in the road, as it were. But they are back with a new payment processor. And yours truly, Media Monarchy, are among the first batch of creators to be able to start to get new pledges, new supporters, new subscribers. Subscribestar.com slash Media Monarchy. And the other one runs on crypto. Bitbacker.io. Told you about it last week. Plus Patreon, PayPal, Stripe, Bitcoin, classic post office box, which I need to go check. We stream news, music, memes, and more Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 Mountain Time at MediaMonarchy.com slash listen. That is the big episode 75 of good news next week. I am James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com. Thanking you so much for listening, inviting you to join us here in the Media Monarchy community, and of course, reminding you as always, like Jello Biafra says, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology, and the occult. All remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.